Top of the morning to you. This is Brian at BrianSign.com talking about forgiveness. I was going to talk about why I go to church today, but we're going to save that for another day. Um, at Bible study this morning, we were looking at uh, Matthew 6, 5 through 15, and uh, the topic of forgiveness kind of took up the whole conversation. At first, I didn't understand why, except that forgiveness is a critical part of all of our lives, especially my life. Um, the, the reason at the end was brought out by one of the people saying, when you get done with the Lord's Prayer, these are the phrases that are used in summary to sum up or continue on right after the Lord's Prayer. And I'll read those two verses for you. Um, verse Matthew 6 14 and 15. If you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. So we got into quite a good discussion thinking about different ways and different meanings um, and how much forgiveness is really for me. It's not for the other person. There are instances where it is for the other person as well. Um, and if we could forgive them and they know about it, it matters. If we can forgive them and they don't know about it, for them it doesn't really matter so much other than what it's done for me in my heart. Um, a good example, an easier way to see this, is thinking about driving in traffic. Sure, we don't have much traffic up here, but some of the viewers may. And if you're driving in traffic, you're going down the highway, and somebody cuts you off and cuts in front of you, and you get mad, and you flip them the bird, and you start swearing at yourself in the car, and you get all angry, and you drive to work, and you're all cranked up, and you go into work with that all cranked up inside of you. And that other person's like, maybe they didn't even notice. And they're just at peace. And by me not forgiving and being all cranked up all the time, I'm getting all torn up. I'm getting beat up. I'm getting tormented by my own lack of forgiveness. Where the person who offended me didn't even know, didn't even care, they're at peace. And yet me not forgiving them has caused me pain. Um, one of the topics came up was pain, enduring or Extending the suffering, extending the pain by not forgiving, by not facing denial is where I've heard that the most in the Celebrate Recovery circles. But that forgiveness is so critical. A lot of times when I go to forgiveness, less more now than before, I'm going to give forgiveness so that they can tell me they were wrong, so that they can admit their sin and their offenses to me. And that's not a, a great way to go in with forgiveness because that's not going to give me freedom. If I go to forgive you because you offended me and you don't own it and I need you to own it for me to have peace, that's not going to work. Forgiveness is a one-way street um, in general. And it, if, if I'm going in with forgiveness, I, I've forgiven if I can give that forgiveness and not expect anything in return. If I have to go in to giving forgiveness and it's not complete with me in just that action, then I'm not there yet. I'm, I haven't done the forgiving. If I need you to own whatever it is, I'm still knotted up inside. I'm still tightened up inside. I was once coaching years and years ago, and we were driving to a race, and it was snowing and snowing and snowing. And uh, my assistant coach was driving my car, and um, he slipped. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I didn't like that. Maybe I should drive. And he, he slipped again. And uh, I didn't like that. I'm like, okay, three strikes, and then I'm going to ask him to pull over. And the third strike was the wreck that totaled my car. And for years, I said, I forgive him, and I forgave him. And I noticed every time I brought it up, I'm like, you know, I haven't really. 
Um, this is probably the first time in years since I recognized that and said, if you've actually forgiven him, why do you keep bringing it up to brag about your forgiveness? Um, and I was like, oh yeah, because I haven't fully processed it. I haven't fully gotten there. I haven't fully let it go. Um, and it wasn't so much the accident. It was my expectations. And just a couple days ago, we talked about my agreements. I had a my agreement regarding if I wreck someone else's car, I'm going to at least pay the deductible for the repairs and, and get it taken care of. So my agreement was an expectation of this guy to pay the deductible and maybe some more because the insurance is going to go up and, and all those parts and pieces. Um, so that's that's where I needed to make the forgiveness is, okay, he didn't. Um, did I directly ask him for it? No, that's stupid. I just realized that right now. Um, I could have said, can you give me $500 for this? And um, he, he lent me a car and helped in other ways. But for me, that was just a, me extending the pain by not going through that forgiveness. Um, when God gives forgiveness to us, um, we, we get to receive it. He gives it to us through Jesus Christ. We repent and own our sins. Um, he's kind of looking for that side of things when we recognize or when he points out or the Holy Spirit points out our sins. He's looking for that ownership, that admission, that repentance to turn the other way. Repentance means turn around. So confessing the sin and turning around and, and heading in the other way. Um, but sometimes we need to forgive God. Maybe something's happened in, in our lives um, that we blame God for. And it may not be, <laughs> if it's God, it's not sin. And we may not be able to see that. And we may need to pray for willingness to be willing to forgive. Because sometimes it's a couple step process. Even with others that have really offended us, we may need that willingness to be praying for willing to be apologetic, willing to, um, I mean, forgive, not apologize, willing to forgive. And sometimes it takes a while, it takes a process, it takes coming to a peace and knowing that God uses everything for the good of those who love him. I had another idea and it just um, blew out of my mind. Um, but sometimes we need to, oh, I remember what it was. So sometimes that forgiveness is for God and sometimes it's for me. I am not my old self every day. And sometimes I need to come back and forgive me for what I've done, what I've done to put myself in this position in life. Um, and sometimes I've been in positions that aren't very comfortable and I need to forgive myself for being that. That was my programming, that was my conditioning through that time and continually learning and reprogramming and learning new conditioning. I need to go back and set myself free. I need to forgive myself for my choices, my behaviors, my directions, so that I can be free to go forward with uh, the gifts that God has given me. Um, so forgiveness is a, a one-way street. Sometimes it's two-way. One of the guys um, today shared about lending a guy some money. The guy lied about what he was borrowing the money for, and then he didn't pay it back. And the guy was that lent the money was quite angry about it. And he was angry about it for a while. And then it just became smaller and smaller over time. And he went to that guy and said, I forgive you. All of it. The money, the, the incident, it's forgiven. And he didn't need an answer back from the guy. But the guy was burdened by not paying back the money, by lying about it, by what he had done, that he was 
relieved and he gave feedback back to the lender of the money and that restored the relationship restored restored that um, it's another topic but part of what could have gone faster was the guy who borrowed the money could have made an amends to the person that needed to give the forgiveness and that may have accelerated the process but amends as well as forgiveness is a one-way street um, it can be two-way but if you're expecting two ways you may be disappointed and you haven't really processed what you need to process I haven't really processed what I need to process if I'm giving forgiveness and expecting a response that helps me if I'm making an amends and I'm expecting forgiveness or a response that helps me, then I haven't fully, between me and the Holy Spirit and God, taken that forgiveness or that confession, admitting my wrong, to heart. I haven't taken it and owned it and appreciated it and loved it and I don't believe in it if I need something from somebody else. Um, so deep thoughts for today in fact at the end of our conversation at Bible study this morning the conversation was I don't think we're done with this um, so I'm hoping that we're gonna come back to forgiveness as we continue our study maybe it's an open-ended forgiveness not just the Matthew 6 verses but forgiveness in the Bible and um, interpreting together uh, as men coming together and interpreting God's Word where iron sharpens iron one man strengthens another and where two or more are gathered in his name he is there with us if you have not given your life to Christ um, you can do that and then you are forgiven Christ has paid all your sins past present and future my name is Brian Join us for Bible study next Tuesday. For now, you be blessed.